Hello and welcome back to Minetrek.net, a Star Trek game server for Minecraft. Yay! I'm over here on one of the D projects. I believe this is the Ed Whitefire version. And I can safely say that uh, we're down to Deck 10 now. Yay, Deck 10's in. Uh, if you want to see this, the ships in the various states of their progress, just join the server. There will be a link to the server and all the server-related stuff in the description below. Anyways, uh, for those of you who've been wondering, yeah, I've been away for a while. Um, had some internet issues. Now I'm helping with a family friend who's in the hospital. Uh, she'll be in there for at least a couple more weeks, so that means I get to spend a lot of time sleeping in the waiting room at the hospital with her family so their shit don't get stole. Yes, that's my life. I have to accept it. Not very thrilling, but that's just the way it is. So occasionally I get some time when I can get home, take a shower, I can get on the internet for a couple hours. And, well, I thought I could get on the internet for a couple of hours, but evidently Friday um, I get this email um, saying that it was forwarded from my CenturyLink email, which I didn't know I had, saying I had to call this tech support number because my internet was going to be shut off. What the fuck is this? So I go ahead and I call the number, um, and I get this weasel little shit fuck, uh, bean counter guy. Hello, is this Mr. Asteroid? Uh, atrocities. Whatever. I'm mean, calling in regards to your internet access. You have exceeded your unlimited access uh, limit. Uh. I've exceeded my unlimited access limit. Yes. Your bandwidth use for the month of June, which just started six days ago, or when that day's four days ago, um, it's exceeded 250 gigabytes. Really? Well, shit. I've been in the hospital for the last, uh, oh, I don't know, week. So how the hell could I have exceeded my bandwidth limit? Do you have Windows 10 installed on any of your computers? Uh, yeah. Two laptops, two PCs. Why? Well, even with its privacy settings enabled, it's possible that Windows 10 may have been uploading data about all of your computers and networks. Anyways, this is for upload and download. Oh, wow, that's not good. Uh... So what are we going to do about it? Well, sir, you've exceeded your limits, so there's not much we can do but throttle you. I thought you don't throttle. That's a myth. Great. It's a myth. They don't throttle. They do throttle. Or you can you can increase your limits to from 7 gigabytes a month to to our more popular 12 megabytes per second plan or whatever plan it was he quoted. Unfortunately, guess what? My phone line doesn't support that. So, SOL on that one. Well, you can have, you can, what we will do is we will charge you for a second account at your current rating. So, really, and how much does that cost? $65 a month plus a phone line would be $105 total per month. And you would have to pay to have a second phone line installed into your residency. I assume it's an apartment. No asshole, it's a fucking house. Probably costs more than everything you own combined that you will ever own combined, you fucking prick. Whatever. So this is the deal. They want me, or wanted me to, uh, buy a second DSL line, full price, plus installation of a second phone line, and phone service for that line, in order to keep my internet up. Now, I pay right now uh, around $85 a month for basic internet, well, what you would call basic internet and uh, a basic phone line. So double that. 160 some odd dollars a month for 14 gigabytes. Uh, uh, what? When their 12 gigabyte plan is only $29 a month for the first two years. What? This, uh, this really reeked. So what I did is I blew that guy off and told him I'd have to think about it, talk to the old lady about it, things, anything I could think of to get this jackass off my ass. He's worse than a bill collector. You know one of those guys that call you up? Yes, we know Tahisha lives with you, and you must pay Tahisha's bill. 
I don't know no Tahisha. You're just calling people out of the phone book trying to uh, find this person, aren't you? Yes, but we know she lives with you because we have proof uh, that uh, at one point she may have uh, called your phone number. Well, I'm sure she probably did. In fact, uh, you called it, so I assume a lot of people probably called it. Anyways, long story short, I got a hold of somebody at their, ca um, their customer service, and I pulled the old uh, discrimination card on them saying that, uh, hey, look, you know what? If this is how you treat your your clients that are disabled, then uh, maybe I, yeah, I should get a lawyer and sue you because this is kind of bullshit. You're trying to take advantage of me thinking because I'm disabled that, uh, yeah, you can get away with that. Yeah, I might have brain cancer, but I'm not a fucking dumbass. Okay? Uh, bite me. If this is the way you're doing business, you know what? Uh, cancel me, um, and I'll just take it, take it up with the AGO and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I just played a real irritated customer and played everything I could do. That lady knew her business. <clears throat> I'm going to say that straight up. She she was on the ball. She said that, no, my service won't be canceled. Uh, yes, I do have unlimited service. And no, I do not need to upgrade or get another phone line or another whole account. And all that stuff. So, uh, And they've been getting a lot of complaints. It's What it is, is they're losing money because people are moving away from traditional landlines to cell phone lines. Or to cell phones. And they're losing a massive market share on cell phones to people like, you know, Verizon and all them other ones. Uh, so they're, they're basically, they're increasing their phone line service for those who decided to keep a landline by a couple of dollars um, every year or so. So instead, and I just found this out too, so instead of paying $85 a month for phone service and internet, I'll now be paying close to 105 It went up 20 bucks. Um, and I asked why. She says, oh, taxes and fees and stuff. Guess what? None of the state taxes, none of the federal taxes, none of the excise taxes have gone up. So Centrelink is just doing this to pocket the money. So what I did after I talked to her as I can't, I got a hold of uh, an internet relay phone service, kind of like VoIP services, and for $15 a month I can have everything I don't have plus international calling. And it's only $15 a month. Uh, problem is I have to keep my DSL line open. No big deal, because what I will do is I'll get that service, and then I'll just have it forwarded to my cell phone. Yay! Cell phone. For cell phones. Uh, anyways, so I canceled my phone service, and instead of my bill going from uh, $105 a month down to, say, $55 a month, it went back to 85 Taxes and fees. Uh, I can honestly tell you, with all these politicians bickering and boohooing about emails and, uh, you know, uh, whatever, uh, they should stop talking about that shit and start focusing on things that are really, really are pissing people off, like excessively overcharging customers for internet and cell phones. I'm serious. I, after that phone call, I was so disgusted. I, I, I nearly did. I, I wanted to rip the Quest DSL uh, motor out of the motor, motum out of the wall, and smash it into leaning tiny bits and send it back to them with the explicit instructions of where they can insert, insert and install pieces. But common sense, you know, got the better of me. And I went ahead and called customer service and lodged a, a complaint. So, anywho, that's what I, that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing. So I haven't been working on the enterprises or anything else like that. And uh, yeah, that's my rant for the week. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I really needed to vent. Uh, you know how it is. You get stressed up, and then somebody throws more stress on it, like gasoline on a fire. And they think it's you know funny. Uh, we don't think it's so funny. In fact, uh, we all are like, this isn't funny. Go fuck yourselves. And that's pretty much the mentality and mood that I've had since Friday. Yay! And yeah. Um, Blue Phobes, you said you were going to fix this. Dude. <laughs> Blue's been very busy in real life, so yeah, he won't be getting to this anytime soon. And by soon, I mean never. Um, this will probably fall on to somebody like me or maybe some of the other cadet guys might want to re redo this. I don't know. Hopefully somebody will. But it's, it's, it's a hanger. It's, I, I don't know. I, I actually kind of like it. I really do, but it, it just has these subtle cream colors. kind of reminds me of the original Enterprise, in a way. Nice-looking hanger. It really is. I think when it's mirrored and this section's all done up, it'll be a really nice-looking hanger. But I guess we're going to the gray. The gray combination walls. Again, getting rid of the sand and all that stuff. No big deal. It'll work out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm,